Let us now take a closer look at a typical from whom to whom framework for debt securities. This framework allows us to present in detail financing and financial investment via debt securities. It can be completed for each debt security and then aggregated for all debt securities. This framework shows who is financing whom, by what amount, and with which type of debt security. The framework shows who issued the debt securities, the debtors, in each row of the table, distinguishing between residents of the domestic economy and non-residents. These debt securities are liabilities of the debtors to the creditors. It also shows who holds these debt securities, the creditors, in each column of the table, also distinguishing between residents and non-residents at the highest level. These debt securities are financial assets of the creditors. We then go one step further and identify the following type of residents of the domestic economy. Non-financial corporations, financial corporations, general government, and households and non-profit institutions serving households. In addition, we can also separate financial corporations and non-financial corporations into those that are controlled by the public sector and those controlled by the private sector. We do this breakdown for the issuers as well as the holders. A complete from whom to whom framework would look like this. For residents, intrasectoral stock positions are indicated by the diagonal shaded cells in the table. When we consolidate the statistics, we must remove these intrasectoral positions. We will say more on that later in the course. Let's consider this numerical example of a whom to whom framework for debt securities. We can say that, for example, in the fourth column, households and non-profit institutions serving households hold debt securities of 275, which is reflected in their claims on non-financial corporations of 65, that is 46 plus 19, claims on financial corporations of 43, that is 11 plus 32, claims on general government of 124, and claims on the rest of the world of 43. In total, non-financial corporations issue debt securities of 147, as reflected in the first two rows, that is 94 plus 53. Their liabilities in the form of debt securities to other non-financial corporations are 30, that is 6 plus 17 plus 0 plus 7. To financial corporations, 23, that is 1 plus 8 plus 2 plus 12. To general government, 5, that is 1 plus 4. To households and non-profit institutions serving households, 65, that is 46 plus 19, and to the rest of the world, 24, that is 15 plus 9. Debt securities issued by general government are shown in the fifth row. We can see that government has liabilities in the form of debt securities to non-financial corporations of 67, that is 40 plus 27 to financial corporations of 25, that is 20 plus 5, to other general government units of 6, to households and non-profit institutions serving households of 124, and to the rest of the world of 54. Intrasectoral stock positions of resident sectors in debt securities are shown in the diagonal dark shaded cells. For instance, Non-financial corporations issue debt securities of 30, that is 6 plus 17 plus 0 plus 7, to other institutional units in the same sector. These intrasectoral transactions and stock positions are not counted when the statistics are presented on a consolidated basis. We can expand this approach that we illustrated for debt securities to all financial assets and liabilities of all resident sectors of the economy 
for what we call the balance sheet approach. Among other things, the balance sheet approach identifies risks and vulnerabilities of each of the sectors vis-a-vis -vis other resident sectors and the rest of the world. Mm -hmm.